something we all need in the beef industry, national animal disease traceability. Some colleagues and I came up with the idea that we could use facial recognition to identify cattle over time. And that would allow rapid disease traceability, something we, again, we need very much in the, in the beef industry. So we partnered with uh, a Kansas business. Uh, we put together a team of scientists here on the campus and we figured it out. Okay, and the, the resulting system is soon to be commercially available. It's called Cattle Tracks. But what it involves is at any point during the production cycle between calf hood and harvest, okay, multiple images of an animal can be uh, collected. They will be transported to a, a secure blockchain type database and, and sort of learned by artificial intelligence. The only two pieces of information that will transit with the photographs okay, are the GPS location of where the photographs were taken and the date. However, okay, if this young calf here in the chute were to develop a, a significant uh, health problem involving a foreign animal disease, okay, somebody who is intervening would merely need to reuse the application, capture the animal's image, and query the database. Where has this animal been in the last week or two weeks or three weeks, whatever the incubation period would be of the suspected foreign animal disease. However, future iterations, if you want to call it that, future versions of this package will allow producers the opportunity to attach securely uh, data that's associated with individual animals, things like birth date, vaccination records, health history, anything that might create value for upstream partners in the beef industry. Folks, it's our hope that there's going to be widespread enthusiasm and acceptance of this technology in the beef industry.